travels north to Paisley to discover that far from being a Scottish design, the popular print actually originated in ancient Babylon. The next time you go along to a department store and you see a Paisley tie or a Paisley shirt or a Paisley dressing gown, instead of just going, oh look it's Paisley, I used to wear a lot of that in the 60s, why don't you take a closer look? I think it's far more intricate than you imagine. And if you're still not convinced, why don't you come along to the Paisley Museum in Paisley? Where else? Now, Valerie, we're up here in the loom room, and this is a loom with a view I see in front of us here. <laughs> um, now, contrary to popular belief, the Paisley pattern didn't actually originate in Paisley, did it? No, it's actually a prehistoric pattern in origin, and there are lots of different theories about where it came from. We've had to sort of select what we feel is the best theory, and we think that it actually came from ancient Babylon. And there, the teardrop shape that we see today actually was a fertility symbol representing the growing shoot of the date palm, the, the initial little tightly curled shoot, because to them the date palm was the tree of life. So how did the people of Paisley adapt the pattern when it came over from Kashmir? It had been adapted already because it had moved out from Babylon to the fringes of the world, really, as, as the world was known then. Um, it came to Paisley, as you say, from Kashmir, and it was adapted very much for European tastes when it came over here. People liked the original Kashmir shawls, but they weren't quite to the taste of the Europeans. Because it was originally a men's garment, wasn't it? That's correct, yes. Um, they were very highly prized men's garments. One prince would give one to another prince. They were very high status garments indeed. Now we're surrounded by looms here. Are these the original looms that the shawls and the patterns used to be made on? This one behind us here is an original shawl making loom. There were two different types of looms that were used during the period of weaving here in Paisley. The earlier type, the draw loom, actually took two people to operate it, but later that was replaced by the jacquard loom, which only needed one person, and the job of the second person was taken by a series of punch cards, which really makes it the first computer-controlled punch card system. we have a storeroom full of shawls. Is this the best way to keep them, Valerie? It's not perfect. To be absolutely perfect, we should actually store them flat, but the thought of trying to find room to store 1,000 shawls flat, um, it's not within our capabilities at the moment. And have you got some very, very old ones in here, some of the original ones? Yes, these ones down here are originals from Kashmir. These two are probably the oldest ones we're looking at. Um, they will have been imported to Britain around about 1800, the, the nice red one and the, the very saffron yellow one. Um, the Kashmirs were actually made to a particular weaving technique, which leaves you this kind of mishmash of threads going in all directions on the back, which is very different to the European ones, where the threads all go in the one direction, right. um, very smooth. It seems such a shame to see them all stored in here. They ought to be being worn and swelled about. Well, these are the ones that we keep for historical purposes, but we do have a few in the collection that we allow people to wear on occasions when they want to try one on. Oh, do you? Yeah, the trouble is we don't normally have a model. Or maybe you do. Look, it's a sarong, it's a sari, it's a stool, it's a, what do you call this? It's a rat, Laura. A rat. Oh, a rat. 